What's up you guys? My name is Quincy Gardner and today I wanted to talk to you guys about getting the flat look on GH2 footage. Uh, this is particularly for GH2 users because um, you know the num number one thing that you hear is why doesn't the pan why doesn't GH2 have plugins like the Canon cameras like the Cine style uh, like pretty much the Technicolor Cine style and I believe there's another uh, picture style out there but I only use I only use Technicolor Cine style, so uh, I don't know about the other picture style though. But uh, people go after that flat look, and so this is actually a scene from a film that I've been shooting. Uh, we've we're done with principal photography, and so now we're in uh, color, pretty much editing, color grading, and designing the sound. So I'm working with the composer now to work on sound for my film. So it's a blast. But this is actually the last uh, last day of shooting. We actually shot this at Hagerstone Park out here in North Carolina, so it was a blast. Uh, here's my actor, uh, Josh Severin. So pretty awesome guy, pretty awesome guy. But anyways, I want to talk to you guys about getting the flat look. So one method is this plugin right here. I use Film Convert Pro 2. So I want to break it down. Let me restart it here. So number one thing when you put this plugin on, uh, this software is a very powerful software. It emulates film stocks and it adds beautiful, beautiful grain. You have 35 millimeter full frame grain all the way down to uh, eight millimeter grain so uh, awesome awesome plugins and you have all these different codecs so but what I what we want to do is get rid of this grain and get rid of curves next thing you know we're just gonna do the codec 5213 and then we're gonna set our color temperature to 5200 so that's essentially the look I'm going for is that's a flat look that I'm essentially going for to I would do all my footage like that and then grade them accordingly so but I know not everyone has film convert so I'm gonna actually try to emulate the same thing except for with the curves. Try to get essentially the same look. I'm I'm pretty sure I probably won't match it, but uh, hey, let's let let's do this. So we're gonna take out the take out the red obviously because it's too much red. We're gonna take out that green and we're gonna push a little blue into it. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Alright, so we're just pushing it. Alright. Okay, so now here we go. Essentially, here's the flat look before and after, before and after. Once again, we have the flat look again. Alright, and one more method. <clears throat> one more method. Uh, that I saw that I really really liked. I can't take. I saw the very first person I saw do this was Luke Newman, and he used a plugin called the Cineon Converter. It's built into After Effects, and, and essentially it turns your footage into log footage, kind of like how you see out of the RE cameras. And so you just click on Linear to Log, and automatically turns your footage into this like this this ugly log image. But I've actually used this technique on a shot I did when I, for a commercial I shot. And so it, it actually kind of really, really helped me out in a pinch. So you just play around with it to get something that you might like, though. But, I mean, that's the third method if you don't want to use curves. And so uh, this was just a really just a little quick tip for you guys um, of how to get the flat look. And I'm going to show you guys actually the benefits of getting it. Here's something I already put together right now, just tritones and, and, and levels. And then I did a little mask. So let me cut these on for you guys. So, but this is actually in conjunction with uh, Film Convert, though. I actually use this, and then once I do Film Convert, let me find my picture style real quick. I was just, I'll, I love to play around with my footage and just do, like, these little grades and stuff. So, uh, I have a lot of time on my hands. All right, let's take the grain out. Take it out. And there, so that's essentially what I was going for. A little bit more serious look. Uh, contrasty. I uh, got a layer right here to darken the background. Uh, right here, I got my tritone, so I can just change my colors. Uh, tritone, essentially, adding colors for your midtones, your highlights, and your shadows. I think it's a really powerful tool. Uh, levels, just to add that contrast in. So just to darken, you know, my my shadows and raise my highlights. And so essentially. Is an image that you could put together like this, and ah yes, nothing is nothing is complete without a vignette. So uh, let's play around and do a vignette real quick, you guys. Also, I do not claim to be the best color grader at all. Uh, I'm actually I'm learning as I go. Uh, I love color grading, so I'm learning as I go. But 
yeah, I mean, I just know what I like for my films, and so uh, this is not at all, I'm not at all claiming to be a, a really, really good color grader. But essentially, yeah, this is this is the look that you can go when you put all these these things uh, together like that. So, and uh, we used the wrong codec. Ah, there we go. <laughs> so, yeah, with the 5213, we put together something like that, an image like that. So, that kind of looks already like a horror film, a desaturated look. It's not completely blue, actually. If you guys, we can we can actually do we can we can actually do that 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 blue look that, you know that 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 blue look that everyone's going for. Ah, I don't like that already, but yeah, we can we can do that. Actually, no, I think it's more of cyan, more like a cyan color. <laughs> but ah, playing around with this too much. There we go. Hold on. Hold on. Ah, don't like it. I don't like it. Let's just back up and do original. Uh, once I start getting, once I start going, I just start playing around or whatever. So we'll just stick to the original right now, though. But uh, anyways, I hope you guys found this useful. Uh, essentially, just wanted to show you guys how to change the, how to turn the GH2 footage into something flat, something to work for. Just in case you got it wrong in the beginning, uh, you can just you can definitely change it around. So. Uh, essentially in the beginning we started off with this very very warm picture uh, picture style and we ended up with that uh, a grade you know, worth 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 working with you know with our vineyard and things like that so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial found something uh, learned something from it and until next time I will talk to you guys later